Okay, this is a follow-up video on the die holder that I 3D printed and resin printed and while trying to tighten a screw this thing just cracked so I don't know how good the resin printed parts are for mechanical parts but now I did 3D print it in ABS and of course I got the elephant foot and then it did raise a little bit from the bed and that's what I'm trying to get rid of here and as you see I can also machine ABS on my CNC lathe so anyway I will do that and I show you the result in the next segment Okay, so far so good. I am surprised how smooth this ABS gets. Of course, I'm not nearly done as yet. Still have focus. It has to uh, get all the way down. But this is buttery smooth. I would almost say uh, it's pretty close to the resin print and I think I will get it even better maybe not but at least as good as a resin printed um, surface so and we will see I don't think it will crack like that ABS um, because this is very brittle it seems and ABS will not be that brittle so anyway and as you can see I have a roll of tape back there to get it out and get it parallel to the chuck and use my uh, shim made of a soda can to a little protect uh, the ABS although it wouldn't matter I mean if you have marks on it who will care but uh, anyway so on to the next step or continue this step and for anyone who's uh, wondering or interested I'm controlling my CNC lathe with my first version of the 6 key macro keypad and my pendant for CNC machines or you can use it for whatever, whatever you like actually it connects uh, through USB on your PC and you could even use it as a keypad if you like so anyway that's how I control it and I'm using Mach 3 turn and uh, I'm using 400 rpm with point, uh, point zero millimeters um, step step that's wrong but you know what I mean and here we go again I started with my pendant spindle and then move with my keypad. pretty glad what that I can machine or turn so many different materials anyway I will go a few more steps and then we'll see the result okay this is the result I will leave it at this and up close it kind of looks like a record old record 
so anyway and we will see how this will hold up so here to focus and this is the side that goes into the handle so it does not to be pretty just to be even flush no that's not what I'm looking for but um, flat and I don't want to take out more because I'm getting low on meat here to hold it in place but I mean this is for tapping a thread with no machine by hand so it's not like it's gonna be high speed or something like that anyway we will put it on the handle and then I'll talk a little bit about the handle okay a few more pieces of information uh, after I did get a 12 millimeter reamer I put the reamer in this side and I mounted this block on here I had a 11.5 no 11 millimeter hole already pre-drilled and drilled it out to 12 millimeters drilled the hole on top here put a set screw so I can uh, use my 12 millimeter rod and secure it like it is right now and I know that the distance from zero is 108 millimeters so if I take this out I can just put it back on make it 108 millimeter and then use the chuck as a guiding uh, guiding post or whatever you want to call it put the 12 millimeter rod in here and then tighten down these two screws so it's perfectly aligned all the time normally you have a headstock of course on rails or on the back which I don't have since this is a CNC lathe so anyway uh, after I printed this out I actually had found that this 21 millimeter um, I think this is a uh, spark plug socket I took because I took the rubber gasket in here out that holds the spark plug when you pull it out anyway first I thought that I I also have this ER20 um, collet which I can mount in here as well and use any drill bits or whatever to drill holes and whatnot so I thought I will mount this somehow to here through this hole here with a screw but um, I didn't like it, it just didn't feel right because it's too big of a hole for 8mm and too small of a hole for nine, uh, for 10mm screw so I was thought, I thought of drilling this out and what not and uh, anyway and then I had this idea to try out bearings and come to find out 6001 bearings which have an outside diameter of 28 millimeters and an internal diameter of 12 millimeters which is perfect for this rod and these were kind of press fit so I hammered those in I put three of them in here and now I have my die holder perfectly aligned smooth moving without any problems on here with this it would be too short and it would have never moved this smooth so sometimes when you build something it takes a while to get the right idea to make it not perfect but work better so this is definitely much better now I can put anything in here that I want to thread and then of course do it take this off here do it by hand and I will of course machine this out of metal I don't have any stock so right now ABS 3D printed part will have to do and um, I will do the threading and I will make a separate video on that 
or add it to this one but I really like how this turned out and of course I told it earlier the resin print did fail I could nicely machine the inside to make it a perfect fit for the die on the first try by accident of course <laughs> and um, but SLA print did not work it even chipped some of the sides here when I tried to tap it so anyway uh, since this is done by hand and those bigger holes are supposed actually to be threaded as well and then have handles so you can really crank it to do it by hand I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be strong enough to do it by hand like this but we will see anyway this is my uh, handle and uh, I really like it so that's so far but anyway in the meantime I have also made the holder for my uh, ER collects so I can use anything like that and I can also of course mount the internal uh, this is for thread cutting mount this in here and fix it and use that all for internal boring with this head here or with this uh, bit overall I'm pretty happy and I also in the meanwhile finally bought the round one here and this is supposed to give much smoother results I haven't tried it yet I have no aluminum stock to work on and I can't find it online local I mean online in Bulgaria really tough there's one city that I used I found by accident a store where you can buy stock but that's uh, 120 kilometers from here and I don't have their name so I cannot call them because I'm sure they would send it to me by uh, mail anyway so this is it for today and the next video will be the threading part and if you like to support me and I really hate to say this all the time you can subscribe to my channel click the notification bell to get notified you can buy something in my Tindy store you can buy me a coffee you can use the super thanks button below the video and you can even if you like to become a patreon and i think there's something also with youtube uh, you, you can join the youtube i don't have it yet but you can join it like for 99 cents a month i might do that but uh giving the results on patreon with uh still five patreons i don't think it's gonna do any good so but at least you can subscribe and hit the notification bell and hopefully that will help me out a bit so thanks for watching and take care everybody